What is up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mug doing an update video on my studio. I know it's been a long time since I've posted something. I've been working on a bunch of different commissions for various clients and as I'm wrapping up one of them I wanted to show off this terrain piece. I didn't do an unboxing of it. Unfortunately it kind of flew under the radar. I wanted to get it built up and painted really fast and uh, the reason why I want to show off this piece to you now is because it is a beautifully easy, intuitive, and um, just a wonderfully simple piece to build and paint. And it is called the Wrecked House from Warlord Games. It's one of their terrain pieces and it comes on, I believe, two frames and um, the base comes separate and uh, you just build the the building, put the roof on and the stairs and then this uh, piece attaches there. The door comes separately so I just kind of built it to the box art and the box art has the door lying in front of the doorway like this. All of the sandbags are separate and so I decided to use them to make it look like it's a fortified position and the sandbags come already in these shapes. So there's one that's meant to go in front of the door, there's one that's meant to fit in the window. But then you also have some pieces, sandbag pieces that are just like a two piece here and then a single piece. So I put those two here and draped the single piece over. I came, I had this one extra one so I just thought I'd lay it across this one window there. I had some single pieces here that I thought would look fun on the corner there. And um, some other single pieces here that I thought I'd make use of. So the uh, paint scheme is very simple. It's just a variety of different grays and browns and uh, because I wanted to go with the color scheme of the box I did the stone in Xandri dust and Celestra gray for all of the gray trim and I think I did Mechanicum standard gray for all of the, the ground, the stairs, the walkway. Uh, I think it's Celestra gray for the gray on the inside that's peeling off the walls. The sandbags were just steel legion drab highlighted with crack stone. Everything was given a was a, I, I took um, Steel Legion Drab and I used Lamian Medium to water it down and when I did that it creates this really beautiful brown wash that almost looks like a mud stain, dirt stains, and it seeps into all the cracks, it looks really nice, and then I just dry brushed uh, Rackarth Flesh to give it kind of like a, a, a bleached kind of look, sun bleached kind of look. and the, uh, sandbags were highlighted with Karak stone and I think oh the beams I used Mornfang brown as a base and then I, I think I just highlighted it up with Karak stone and the inside is highlighted up with uh, dry brushing dawn stone and uh, administratum gray and the stone outside for the sidewalk is actually scaven like dinge given that uh, mud wash and then highlighted back up and uh, the street was actually washed with Doomble Brown and then Dryad Bark to give it like a dark, dark, muddy look. And oh, and the, the door is just, I, I think it was um, Cantor Blue or uh, I'm sorry, McCrag Blue. And then after the wash, given a little bit of a highlight. I use Retributor Armor for the gold to give it a little bit of a pop. But like I said, it's a beautiful piece. Looks really great if you're doing bolt action or any World War II miniatures game where the miniatures are, are um, 28 millimeter. And actually, let me see if I've got any nearby that I can use for a size comparison. Uh, I don't think I've got any Space Marines or anything nearby, but um, yeah. There, uh, it, I've got this zombie side figure, so it's about the size of a space marine. You could pop that in there, and then this piece, this terrain piece, could be, you know, a pretty nice size. If you've got like a squad of five or ten, you could line them up outside, inside, and have it look really nice. Again, this is Warlord Games' wrecked house terrain piece, and it's. It's very fast, very easy to put together. The directions are really simple to understand. And like I said, you could build it up and give it a quick paint job in an afternoon. Or if you want to go a little bit more uh, detailed into it, then that's also an option. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed 
this video. It's uh, been a long time since I posted up some content on my channel, so I'd like to uh, get back to that, and I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next video.